to go look up, I had to go get some uh, peer advice from some couple other YouTubers. And what I realized is that uh, to gain our, like, rest of our, like, colonial thing, we need colonial negotiations. And to gain colonial negotiations, uh, we need to invest in either one of these things. So we can either have machine guns, we can have invented economic responsibility, or have naval logistics. Um, the easiest of these would most likely be either naval logistics or machine guns. Now, on our own, we could naturally, like, oh, and there is, a uh, economic responsibility, but that's gonna take a little bit from, there it is. Economic responsibility, but that's like a, th that's like a five-tier thing, so that's gonna be, like, a little bit harder to grab. So, you know, we could go after that, or we could go after analytical physics and, you know, gain our research much quicker. Nah, no, I'm getting naval logistics. Okay. I need, we need to. Oh, sorry there, just just accidentally like shut off, it wasn't even a second, just like accidentally press the button. It was not not intentional, do not blame me, do not like sell me. Yeah, it was unintentional that I did that. And it seems like I made some soldiers down in Algeria, so... Seems like we actually have some actual, like, army down here. Which means both of my cannons did not be made up here. Which means I'm gonna have to make my cannons... Hot oh, dang. Okay, so that means our cannons... Do not recruit from Africa, recruit from Europe. I'm gonna make three cannons because the army size is, this army is gonna be pretty dang big. Okay, if you guys don't remember, this is from last episode. Uh, we had... We had some, uh, difficulty. Difficulty controlling our borders, and I was also wondering, like, what do we need to, like, gain naval negotiations? And I'm watching... I'm watching our money right now and thinking, we did, we did, and if it wasn't because of all the wars we have gotten into at this point, and I mean, if it wasn't because of that, we would probably, you know, we'd probably be smoking in the moolah right now. Um, my, my biggest, like, peeve, I guess, with this, like, new version of the game is it's way too easy to go into debt. It is way too easy. Like, I go into debt so much in this game, it's not even funny. Eternal Crisis! Eastern Macedonia! So finally, an Eternal Crisis has arose again. And we're still at war. Does that mean I can partake in this? No, I can ah! I hate you, United States! Okay, you know what? I am personally gonna enter this war, okay? I've had about enough with these lazy natives need to No, lazy natives need to adapt, but their beliefs must be respected. That's my view on that, okay? You may quote me on that, and I may add a new nation, I'm gonna add Portugal to our sphere, and if Portugal gains everything, I'm going to seriously just destroy these guys. Like, seriously, I will declare war, to reduce my relation, they better not be colonizing. Okay, they're not colonizing anything. And now, due to that, I'm like in a frenzy. Like, right now, I'm in the mood to just, like, kick the butt out of anything that goes. So, let Tom's so revolution Egypt, haha, -ha. not seen that one coming. New party, prices collapse, breakthrough in Andenburg, Austrian, research complete, victory, Commonwealth, wealth of the Ghana, whatever. I don't really care, alright? I want my transports over here, right now, in my country. You know what? Actually, no, no, no. It'd be much quicker if I just made my own transports, alright? Just make the transports. We're going over there to America to teach those stupid, stupid Southerners what it means to get your butt handed to you. Okay? Okay. Cause but this is like the th this is like the third time I've been denied. This is the third time I've been denied being able to like go in and help out in a crisis mode just because of the stupid wars. I had been in a war with these guys, I've been in war with the United States, and they have not helped me out. So, you know what? I'm gonna read this right now, and you guys better listen, okay? Okay. With the ravages of alcohol taking a daily toll on our people, tearing away every day with newly found intensity at the moral and spiritual fabric of our nation's national character, it has become intensive for us to bond together in defense of public value, and to educate the uplift and pour the undowntrown to the vows of temperance. For quite some time now, our country has been dealing with increase in consumption of alcohol. Readily available and cheap, distilled spirits in combination with hard working com conditions make the poorer classes especially subtile to this deadly poison. It comes to no surprise that the French Temperance League has been formed. 
an excellent initiative. Actually, I do support that because that gives me a lot more mining, a lot more everything else. Not much good can come out of that, but you know what? We'll go with it. Okay. So when I get over to the United States, my first goal is I'm going to go destroy this army right here. Then I'm going to march all the way to the southern capital right here of Richmond, grab my troops right there, and just blockade them. Because, I mean, the United States has the rest of... The United States has them packed. They just need to win this war. Because I'm about... I'm, I'm, I'm... If you guys have not told, told... Have not seen yet, I am... Hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna calm down now. Kind of take a chill pill. And... We're just gonna wait. We're just gonna wait and see what happens. My new... Okay. So it seems like the, the crisis is brewing, I guess. I guess the crisis just finished. Oh. I was hoping a little bit longer of a crisis. Did they win? Yeah. So... The Egyptians won the crisis and we should try again. I will spend as much money as I can. I don't care if I go into debt because, oh shoot, I am not going to be able to pay out this one. Uh, yeah. We're kind of in debt. That's all I got to say. You know what? Taxing the poor always solves the problems of, of my country. And then it makes the lumber mill go out of business. But people have got to be more happy with my uh, healthcare problems. I mean, I now have a reason by my own healthcare in the country. And yeah, now I'm making money again. You know what, it. Send a small army to go. First, let's just deal with the, with the stupid, uh, yeah. The taunts, tensions rise, well, that's kind of a late newspaper. And French reactionaries, of course. Of course. You can never you can never be in France without having at least one rebellion happen every week. And that Clipper shipyard, which, if you guys remember, was a while back, it finally collapsed this market. Um, I'm not going to say that it, it's, not, it's not one of the happiest moments of my life, but... Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty dang happy about that. I, we wanted that we wanted that to collapse. That was one of those businesses. It's like, really, capitalists, really? You can't get on ball with what I'm trying to preach to you right now? No, it's not smart to invest in those kind of companies. Those kind of companies will fail. And this region still... Hey, we at least... I don't think we ever increased the population even a little bit. And Venezuela is actually launching their own attack against the hordes of army men. I mean, America really needs to unite, that's all I gotta say. And my French troops have now reached the destination. Uh, we will be docking them off in Washington to regain control of their capital. I'll be... Oh, shoot, they sent the wrong soldiers. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with that in a couple minutes. Okay. Go send... Eaten by cannibals? Oh, dear. You know, whatever shall we do? By the way, we gain, we're the second most in, uh, industrial power right now. Which I am very happy of. You know, that makes me very happy that we have the second biggest. The source of the Nile discovered, and it was by the French. That gave us a lot of prestige right there. It also made me feel good that we are slowly but surely toppling the, uh, British, British entente. And I lost a battle, apparently. Go figure. I have no army over here. And it seems like the Americans are not willing, being willing to help me out right now. So, I mean, I'm going to retreat my men while I still have a chance. Oh shoot, they're, they're coming after me. I'm just going to keep retreating. I'm going to go to Hanford. I'm going to wait there for a little bit. And then we're going to go back after them. Now the CSA has officially made it personal. They have not only made me angry, but that now they seriously have just themselves because now they know I'm not gonna quit I'm now the leader of this like assault and I'm not gonna give up until they're gone and destroyed so naval range has now increased Portugal I think can now be added to my sphere yep so Portugal is now added to my sphere 
Um, it's a glorious day in my empire. Uh, now that I have this, I'm going to get machine guns. And now I have the col colonial negotiations 25%. Um, does that now give us the opportunity to now start sending in? No, it does not. Because we have not invented colonial negotiations yet. So, you know, once we get that, everything should be fine and dandy. I'm going to start making some steamers on the side. Um, infantry, infantry, letons, um, crisis averted. You know, that's it's a very good thing when crises are averted. And the steel factory is closed down. Shoot. I was actually hoping we could have more steel factories because they are the pinnacle of our economy. And we have a pretty good control right now, so I'm just waiting for the chance... Where is it? Colonial map mode? Colonial map mode. I'm just waiting for it to say, you know, you're free to do... Ooh! Okay, first one. First colony. First colony. Second colony. We have it, guys. It finally appeared. Our first colony. So for next episode, people, we will be finishing up our war with the CSA, destroying them and making them just be burned in their own ash of dirt and desert and slavery. Okay? Simon fears I might, well they should. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Alright, salut everyone, and welcome back to another episode of You Know What French Empire we conquer the world. Those are the, base, those are the basic bullet, bullet points you need to know about this Let's Play. And I am really starting to overtax myself with this army. So... Education going... I have to figure out what's... What am I spending a lot of my money on? What's costing me the most? Okay, administration is costing me a lot. But I need administration up right now because we're about to go do conquering. Land is not costing me that much. Actually, land is costing me a good amount, so I'm just going to decrease land. Because we need, we don't need to be fighting right now. And if you guys remember from last episode, we're in a war with the CSA, and we got our butts promptly kicked by the CSA. To the point now, I'm going to go get revenge right now. With that little small army right there, I'm going to, oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. How? How did the CSA... Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, you know what? Do this. So, the CSA has proven three times, I think. Okay, I'm gonna go fortify myself on Long Island. That they can easily handle anything I can throw at them. And it's aggravating me to, to no end. Hmm. Put it in simpler terms, I feel like I'm going to die. Okay, but it won't be for long because... I have enough troops finally built up on the French Peninsula that will go aid in my effort to go destroy the the uh, the little guys. So we will send these guys over, and we will also be simultaneously looking at the. Uh, in fact, this is the mode I'm going to be in for a time amount of time. Whew! This can actually upgrade to something. No, this is nowhere near upgrading. Oh, that's because it's not in Colonial. Because we, because for some reason, it's not showing us when we can actually do Colonial map mode. So we have to actually do it manually. So I'm going to be... Like, just... I don't know. I'm going to go into many place, as many places as I can. Um, right now, I can't get many more. Just due to the fact that I'm a little bit late bloomer, I guess is the best way of putting it. Um, it's going to take a little bit for me to develop my economy. Uh, not economies, but uh, colonies. And you know what? I'm personally fine with that. Uh, army, and I'm just wondering, how do you get colonial power? That's the only thing um, currently invested from technology. Power is tied up in maintenance. I'm not really, not really too king. A place under the sun. Um, a place, our country is the most prestigious great power on earth. Really? From Paris to the far-flung provinces of Long, our flag, in celebration of our dominance and just reign, an imperial parade is being held in Paris. The question now poses itself. Should we invite foreign dignitaries to this joyous occasion, or shall we simply con conclude that no other nation is fit to bask in our glorious? All must see our splendor, our isolation is splendid. 
Lose prestige, lose prestige, lose prestige. You know what? We are nice people. We will let our vast glory rest in everyone's likeness and know the Bonapards will be our party of the future. Okay? And as we know, the United States has not done much about the Confederate problems or the vast majority problems and the communists just spawned. You know, these are all the... See, this is an army worth fighting for, but they didn't have that. So it kind of made everything hard. And so we have all these events happening right now. You know, it's all cool and dandy. But it seems like America is also trying to uh, encroach upon my space. Any other places I'd have to worry about. Um, <laughs> Alright, you can have that little place if you really want it. I mean, it's not that important to me. Okay, and we're just, I don't know, we're just kind of holding it in there. My enthusiasm is just, I'm saving it for when I crush that little army right there with my so much bigger forces. Like, now that we have my army here, oh yeah, what are you going to do now? Look at this army. Oh, oh, you may, even if you have the advantage, which you don't, look at that. Trained French soldiers ready to kick your butt, and they've been in battle many times. Oh no, I'm not letting you escape. You're gonna die, whoever you are. You're gonna die by the head of your heels. So, now we can start our counterattack against the, uh, uh, what are they called? The Confederate States of America. And maybe after this, we can actually just not go to war for a little bit. And I'm actually gonna be okay with that because we're gonna be trying to colonizing. And right now, colonialization is gonna be difficult. Because. We really, we just, this is going to be a really difficult process. We're going to have to do a lot. Okay. Or do we have something here? A place under the sun. Uh, all must see our splendor. Uh, okay. We can create Omada and we can create Ma. So I'm guessing that my places over here finally became, yep. Let me see. Yep, they finally became full status. So create protectorate and create a protectorate. So basically what I see how this new colonial system works is you just have to be the first ones there and everything else works out. Dang, I wish I could like colonially like attack them right now. Oh, I can colonially attack them? Oh yeah, I'm totally doing that. I'm totally doing a colonial battle for this region and I'm gonna go send my soldiers down there to go like help the process. Because we want to make sure that no other power gains what we can, and... Oh, dang. I can't actually send any more troops down there. Uh, let me see. You guys go right here. All right, yeah, because I've, I've heard... I wonder if they still... If it's still allowed that you can, like, help blockade and help coordinate, uh... Or do troops still help you as they used to in the old days? And we already basically have our... Can I still create something? Okay, I can still create something. I have to figure out where it is, though. Three, one... Can I just, like, click on it? No. No. Ah, where is... Amperia. Okay, I'm gonna have to look this region up. Oh, but man, we finally did it, everyone. We finally made the colonialism. And wait, what is the region called? M B. Amperia. No, it's Hamperia, and it's not. It's not in caps. M here. No, maybe it is B. Okay, uh, hmm, you know, I'm really trying to figure this out right now, like, I'm trying to figure out where this, oh, by the way, we need this, dang, there's so much we need right now, but I'm trying to figure out where this region is, by the way, I'm not really threatened by the, uh, what are they called, the Dutch, because they really don't, I guarantee they don't even have the technology yet, because of all the butt whoopings by Portugal, alright, where is this? Where is this, like, we can create a colony in French, Ambacara. 
Seriously, ah, uh, I don't know where this is. And I'm looking around trying to think, like, where is this? Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so we're gonna have to, like, quickly fight the Austrians a little bit. I'm um, hoping my men can arrive quickly. Um, oh, dang, I don't, that's gonna bother me, like, for the rest of the day, but... While we're fighting the war, we're slowly gaining everything back for the Americans. Because America just cannot handle themselves this game, I don't know why. And I'm having to like babysit them, like little two-year-olds, and say, Yeah, you should do this, and you should do that. Okay, I'm just gonna look around the entire coast of Africa. Okay, did I do any kind of colonies that I don't know about? You can create a colony. Maybe it's an already pre-established colony. Like, hmm. Wow, I really don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me with that. But I'll continue with my bloodlust for the southern states. As we slowly regain everything. And we're about to regain the capital. So, a new store. It's good. I'm waiting for my diplomatic points to rise. And I don't know if this is actually helping it even in the least bit. I am sending soldiers though down here to make sure. This will be our real test. If we can still beat the uh, Austrians here, then I know that this still works. Like surrounding it and doing all sorts of cool fancy dancey stuff, it still works. Let them eat in safaris. And, oh man. Where, okay. It seems like America did expand a little bit. I kind of expected that. I was not stupid. I did not, like, think I'd get everything. So, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And I'm actually falling behind in our, like, industry, so I'm going to increase that a little bit. And we still got canned. A lot of canned food industries are failing, all because I'm having to, like, deal with stupidity. That, that's the best word I can put it. Stupidity. I'm happy. Oh, yes. We are losing the race in Morocco. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, I think... No, I think we just won that. So, oh, I see. So, this is kind of interesting. So, you can actually go in and, like, invest personally into what... Into like personally like if I guess if you're in like a colonial battle with one of these states, you can like go in and invest personally in their in their like battle thing. You know that's kind of cool. That's that's really kind of cool. Like legitly, that's like an awesome idea. Like so that so that it's not just that the person wins just because they're there first. The Chinese fear we are coming. Okay, China. That's the most unlogical statement. Okay, we got a lot of things we can create to protect it in Seagull, Ghana. Okay, so we have lots of new colonies. Right here, create the protectorate. Create the protectorate. Um, let me see, colonial influence, colonial influence. Okay, create the protectorate. Create the protectorate. Ah, dang. And it seems like I outvoted these guys, so what? What, 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 what? <laughs> Sorry, I just had, I had, for those of you guys who hate that song, I don't know, I just had, oh shoot. Dang, these guys are more, okay, blocked them. Dang. Austria is more clever than I thought it was. But sadly, it still will not, uh, maybe I should actually s cut off onto my invasions or my revenge plans on Austria. Just for a little bit, because there's actually more important regions that we should try to start colonizing. Like, we should definitely try to block off this entire little coastal region-y places here. Because these are always hot spots for colonization. Okay? And we want to make sure we're, like, the first ones here. So, now that we've moved over here, uh, you guys just sit right here, I guess. Just sit in our new colonies as we bask in our colonial... As our colonial expansion occurs. And I think this is about an episode. So everyone, we're starting to get this. And I still don't know. Okay, I know where Ghana is. Ghana is somewhere over here. Okay. 
I know what Ghana is. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, so that's what a protectorate means. So, it's basically out of a colony we already have. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Anyways, I, we finally realized what all this means. Oh, my phone dropped. So, that just means that we just have to figure out where this mysterious Ambahara state is. And just make it civilized. Eh, this sounds so good. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time.